Now, Nigerian federal lawmakers have been urged to reconsider the affirmative action bill and other gender bills proposed in the Constitution Amendment in order to improve women's participation in politics. Former legislator Kaira Tabdaraza Gwadipi disclosed this on Tuesday in Abuja. In commemoration of the International Women's Day, Senator Karat Abdurraza Kwandabe described the rejection of the five gender bills that speak to the issues against women discrimination and exclusion from involvement in governance and contribution to nation building as wrong footed. In her message to Nigerian women on the occasion of the 2022 International Women's Day, Senator Karat called on all women to participate in politics. Most importantly, take note of the women that are around us that are less privileged. Most women, you see them, they are suffering and wait in silence. What can you do? give your own social quota to engage with the women and young people like yourselves. The mistake that was made in the laws, in the amendment of the Constitution, will be changed. It's just a hitch and it's just sending a signal to us women to wake up, come together, work, work, work. What do I mean work? We are, elections are coming, there will be new sets of people that will be voted into the assembly. Don't vote for somebody that will not make that amendment for you. So stand up, work together, and happy women. Speaking earlier, the managing director of Nigerian Tulip International College, Fenzula Belgin, said the world will become a better place when women don't feel the hardship of existence or any forms of segregation, adding that women are equalizers and they have the innovation and creativity needed in every sector. Women must dismantle barriers and be liberated. Liberation will only come when there is gender equality and women empowerment. I believe that the world will become a better place when women don't feel the hardships of existence or any forms of segregation. It will also be a thing of value when we all do away with every form of misconception that women are unimportant. This can only be achieved when we jointly contribute our quota to the development of women within our area of influence. Uh, both female and male because um, it's a day that um, everyone it's uh, a woman is recognized every woman is recognized and it's a day to celebrate women so we are proud of the uh, we are proud of women's day also speaking mabel ekuhoma explained that insecurity had affected women in the society it used to be an endemic problem in this country the rate is alarming because according to statistics from the World Bank, poverty rate in Nigeria stands at 32.8% in the last quarter of 2021. We all recall that Nigeria was at one time said to be the poverty capital of the world. With increased prices of food and other essential commodities in the market, the fear of women and young people to become susceptible to crimes to survive is imminent. We have had more privileges in every aspect of life in a society, which could be pay scale, social status, or voting rights percentage. We are living in the 21st century, and the world is slowly moving towards gender balance. It's moving towards equality for both men and women. This change is necessary, and it is required around the world because we are all humans and equal opportunities and respect should be given to everyone. It is hoped that the federal government will work to close the gap between male and female gender in terms of participation in government.